Hello, friends. Today, let's solve palindrome pairs problem. Given a list of unique words, return all the pairs of the distinct indexes i, j in the given list, so that the concatenation of the two words, words i plus words j, is a palindrome. So the question statement is pretty simple, but how to solve it? The brute force solution will be we iterate all the words. And then we uh, have an inner for loop to iterate uh, the words again to concatenate these two words and check it whether uh, whether it is a palindrome. But you know, it at least a big O n squared uh, times m. M is the uh, length of the two words. Can we do better? Sure. Let's first see the pattern of uh, the palindrome. Uh, the first zero one and the one zero, uh, which is A B C D D C B A. This is a palindrome, and uh, the um, the center is this line, and and the D C B A, and the uh, one zero can also be a palindrome. D C B A A B C D. This is the center line. And the three two can also be a palindrome Z Y X A O L X Y Z. And the four three can also be a palindrome X Y Z A O L Z Y X. So can we have some intuition from these patterns? The first two is that uh, if current word is A B C D, then we just need to check whether there is a word of which is the reverse of it, it itself. So we can find the uh, DCBA, so we get a result. The same for the second one. DCBA, the reverse of it is ABCD. And we did find the ABCD in the word list. How about uh, the next two patterns? ZYX and LLXYZ. You can find that, uh, well, this is the first word, this is the second word. In the second word, it um, first part is a palindrome, and uh, the rest part is actually the reverse of the ZYX. So that is, if current word is ZYX, we want to find another word that uh, its uh, first part is a palindrome, and uh, its rest part is the reverse of this word. Okay, how about next, uh, the last one? X, Y, Z, L, L. Well, in this word, the right part is a palindrome, L, L. And the left part, X, Y, Z. We find uh, this Z, Y, X is the reverse of the X, Y, Z. So that means for a given word A, if it's the right part, its the right part is a palindrome, we just need to find whether there is a reverse of its first part in the word list. If yes, it can be a palindrome. So just uh, these three cases. Okay, so let's see the first one. The rest of A is a palindrome, and we find whether there is a B is a reverse of its first part. This is a co uh, uh, corresponds to this case. Well, how to check the rest of A is a palindrome? We just needed to do it uh, when we check, uh, we iterate the word A. And for the case one, we find whether there is another word B. The first part is a palindrome, and the rest part is the reverse of A, which corresponds to this case. Mm, so for ZYX, uh, we just need to find another word. The first part is a palindrome, and the rest part is the reverse of itself. The last part is quite pretty simple. Just to find uh, whether the reverse of it exists in the word list. So from these three cases, you may find the reverse of a word is pretty important. So how about uh, saving this information? Uh, thus, you want to think how to save it. You can use a hash map, but it's not efficient um, because it has many strings and uh, they have the same prefix. So we can use try. So we can save each string in the try and uh, we save the reverse of this string. 
is other is there any other information we need to save uh yes for this example we want to check whether it is a word so in the um, original try we have is a word or it's end this boolean a uh, variable here we can use integer to save its index in the word list because in the end we need to return two indexes right the zero one and one zero or three two so the index is important so when we save the reverse of the word we only save the word index in the very last character so in this case dcba we try to insert a b c d into the try and when we reach d we save it uh, the word uh, index to one okay and we also want to know whether it's the first part is a palindrome so when we save the reverse of a string we know like uh, z y x when we reach x we know it's the rest part l l is a palindrome so we can save the word index of the two in this x mm, but is is the only word no because it can be there is another word called l l l x y z so the l l l l which has four l is also a palindrome so we can save mm, more than one word index in this x so that means for every try node, we also want to save how many uh, word index mm, th their rest of part is a palindrome. Okay, so that's the information, and this is the three cases. Now let's write the code. Hope you can understand it better. So let's see. We need a class. It's called the try node, and. Uh, it uh, should have the children because it only have uh, lower cases so we lowercase uh, in English letters so there is 26 and also we want to save the word index at the uh, begin at the beginning it's negative one we also need uh, the uh, it's called uh, the rest is palindrome right palindrome so uh, which is try node we just uh, initialize it palindrome new array list okay well in this part we need a root node uh, which actually is empty we also need n n is the words dot length we also need to uh, return the result. Uh, we call it a result. New array this. So we actually first e need to add uh, every uh, words. Oh, sorry, this is an I plus plus. So we add uh, the words I and the index to the try. And for every i zero i less than an i plus plus, so we search uh, whether another word can be concatenated to, to it, right? So this part is words i and i. So finally, we just return the result. Mm. Okay, so then. We implement the uh, void add so for this uh, word and the word index. What should we do first? Uh, is a root. We should get a reference of it. So cur equal to root. And then this is a string. It's pretty slow, so we can get a char array chars, which is word to char array. Okay, then we iterate every char. So I equal to zero, I less than char star length, I plus plus. So what's next? Mm, well, it's add. We should add the reverse, right? So it's not from zero, it's from char star length minus one. Uh, and um, I greater equal to zero, I minus minus. So here, um, first, if 
we should get the index, right? It's a Charles I minus A. So that is if uh, the, what's it? If uh, the Kerr children, children, J equal to none, if it's equal to none, then we uh, should uh, new it, new try node. And then we put a Kerr equal to Kerr children, J. Mm, but we also want to save the rest of palindromes, right? So if it's palindrome, uh, palindrome, which is Charles and uh, to the rest parts from, so it's from zero to I. If it's palindrome, we save uh, to the curve uh, rest is palindrome. Right, rest is palindrome. Add this uh, word index. Okay, so here is it. So we need another function. We just uh, call it uh, boolean uh, is palindrome. Whoa, that's a word. That's, oh, uh, sorry. Uh, it's not a word, it's a char array. So this is chars and i, j. Uh, so how to check whether it's a palindrome? So we just uh, let the i less than j. If uh, the chars i not equal to chars j, we just return false. It's not a palindrome. Uh, if we can reach the end, then we return true. But every time we should move this i forward and um, move j um, backward. They go to the center. Okay, this is palindrome. So when we get to the very end, uh, we should uh, mark the curve, the word index to the current word index. Do not forget this line. Okay, so how about uh, this search? Void search. Uh, string word, uh, word index. So the same thing, we get the curve, which is equal to the root, and we get the charts which will be word to char array and uh, for int i equal to so this is the correct order so length i plus plus so we get the j equal to char s i minus a right minus a okay what should we do now we actually need to translate these three cases. The first one is if uh, the current uh, word, the rest part is a palindrome, right? We just uh, get uh, this Z. If the Z, the rest part is a palindrome and the Z has a word index because it's inverse X, Y, Z. So Z has a word index. Then we know these two words can be a result. So if the uh, current word index not equal to uh, negative one and uh, is palindrome. It's a charge from i to the very last uh, character. Their result should add uh, arrays as list. So that will be word index plus curve, curve. word index. Uh, index. Do not forget to let curve equal to curve children uh, J, uh, right? But uh, this is a search, so there is a chance the cur child equal to none, so we just return. Okay? So in this part, this is only one case. Another simple case is just a reverse. So when we iterate A, B, C, D, we go to D. We check whether D has a word index. If it has, it can be a result. But uh, let's see, there is a uh, example is A, A, A. So when we go to the A, A did has a word index, it can be the self. So in this part, we need to check if current index not equal to negative one and it cannot be the self. So not equal to the word index. Then the result can add arrays, arrays as list the word index and the current word index. This is this example. Okay, we already uh, figure out this case and uh, this case. How about this case? So we already reached the end. This is a curve. Then we want to get the x. It uh, rest uh, is palindrome. So we get another word index. We just concatenate these two part. So how to get uh, this word index? Uh, we just uh, need to iterate the current uh, 
rest is palindrome, right? So result uh, need to add uh, arrays as list. So that will be word list. And the curve, uh, sorry, this is J. OK, we already figured out uh, all the three cases. So I believe that's it. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.